Is this ball the reason your team got knocked out of the NCAA tournament? Players, coaches, and sharks hate it. Sasha Stefanovic, who was a, a shooter for us last year, tweeted something saying, yeah, it's different than the Nike ball. And it could be the reason for some low scores and serious shooting droughts in the last two postseasons. So you can see, like, it's a pretty big drop off. That is insane. That ball comes off of your fingertips for a shooter. It is different for the Wilson ball versus the Nike ball. Is it the reason your team lost? I mean, that's complicated. But the issues with it has created a conversation around college basketball that for some reason is almost never brought up. I think it's not that we're saying people are losing games because of the balls, but it's like, it's so weird that college basketball is a sport that just like doesn't standardize the ball. You've probably noticed the last two NCAA tournaments that they've been using this bright orange basketball. That's the Wilson Evo NXT. And I have likely annoyed friends, family, coworkers, for how often I bring it up. I've been waiting to get this out there for a year now. <laughs> it's not the same weight. It does, doesn't, it feels different. The grip on it is different. And yeah, a lot of people thought it was crazy. And while they might be right about that, they could still be wrong about how much this ball is affecting some of those scores we've seen. We talk about the ball in almost every other sport, like the Flategate 2010 World Cup, juice baseballs. But to mention the ball is a problem in the game of basketball for some reason makes you sound like a conspiracy theorist, which is ridiculous. Like if I was a conspiracy theorist, I'd say stuff like, why are they using these basketballs and why are they so heavily inflated? Why are the rims so tight in the opening rounds? Is that to keep the scores low? And does keeping the scores low create more close games, more upsets, and more madness? All of that would be crazy. But what's even crazier or dumber is that we don't use a universal ball throughout all of college basketball. Instead, there is a different ball used depending on where you play. In 2019, ESPN's Myron Metcalf wrote this article about the effect of using different balls. He noted that Rodney Paul, a sports economist and sports management professor at Syracuse University, conducted a study that showed where teams using a different ball on the road could experience more than a one point differential from their expected scoring. And former players have spoke out recently about the advantage. But in the postseason, everybody uses the same basketball, one that many teams choose not to use throughout the regular season. And it shows. And I know you might be thinking, okay, the ball is round, it's a basketball, how could it be that much different? Well, Wilson actually advertises that it is different. The Evo Next has what we're calling extended range tech. The super soft core actually redistributes the weight and balance of the ball, allowing you to shoot from longer range. And other YouTubers reviewing this ball will tell you that it is different and that it does take some getting used to. I don't know how much time the adjust to this ball or get used to it. And I know there's a lot of big men have issues. Kind of squishier basketball, but the bounce back isn't as quick. Almost seems like, you know, you're kind of bouncing a bowling ball on a mattress. And that extra grip is proven by how easily I can palm this basketball. Not so much with this one. Okay, so you can see the difference. I can just pick this one up, it's that easy. And you wonder if this extra grip has something to do with the record amount of wedgies we've seen in this tournament. Bill Self in Kansas switched to Wilson in 2019 and more recently to the Wilson Evo NXT looking for an advantage. And so did a small team in New Jersey, Farley Dickinson. Something Purdue fans probably wish their coach would have looked into. It was a proactive approach to making a variable uh, not a variable. Finally seeing other people talking about this ball on Twitter made me feel less crazy. And that's kind of how David and Connor felt, who have been tracking data on this ball all year. My first interaction with the ball actually was this year at the Purdue Northwestern game. And immediately when I grabbed the ball, I noticed, whoa, what is this? The ball was stickier, it was tackier. And I looked at it and it said Wilson Evo. Going home that night, we found out the Wilson Evo ball was used at the Davidson game. They were three for 25, multiple wide open threes just didn't go their way. Right after that game, someone had asked Coach Painter, they're like, you know, what's up with, what's up with the balls? They're all round. We'll be fine. <laughs> Good shooters can make it with a football. Stand out, I know these guys practice with it, and they, it's just kind of one of those stats where you look at it and you're like, this is crazy. Where it's like, you know, we shoot away from home 40% with the Nike ball, and then with the Wilson ball, away from home shooting 23% from three. Dave also pointed out that there is a player that serves as a good case study for this basketball. That player is David Jenkins Jr. and he's a transfer who came from Utah. And what ball does the University of Utah use? They use the Wilson Evo ball. When it came Big Ten tournament time, David Jenkins Jr. was on fire. And I'm going to say that that comfort with playing at Utah last year with the Evo ball, you, you can't disregard it. 
NCAA tournament teams their three point shooting throughout the year, and then we hit the, oh. the tournament. And um, yeah, so you can see like it's a pretty big drop off. That is insane. Yeah, and I mean, like, because it bottomed out near 31%. Unfortunately for Kentucky, they are stuck using the Nike ball because of a contract that they are in with Nike. Which sucks, because here's how Kentucky has shot with this ball. Kentucky, throughout the season, was 27 out of 102. Kentucky shot 26% from three using the Wilson Evo NXT. Last season was no better. In their two postseason losses, they shot six for 35 or 17%. And it's not just Kentucky and Purdue. Michigan State was one that like blew my mind. Five games leading up to the, the tournament. From three, they were 36.8%, 47.6, 73.3. And these are all in like pretty high volume. The conference tournament started, they shot 18% in their first one with the Wilson ball. A lot of teams are saving their very worst shooting nights for the NCAA tournament. I looked at the last five seasons for Purdue and just com would compare Wilson versus not Wilson for their seasons before the Evo. Their shooting percentage actually with the Wilson ball was actually always like slightly higher. Last year we were with the Evo was 4% less than Nike than this year it ends up being 11% when you look at the whole season. And that was kind of for me, it's okay, something changed. Maybe that something changing is what caused this. I took this ball with a recommended PSI to the very same court in Greensboro where Antonio Reeves shot one of 10 from three the ball travels further, and that's by design. But if you don't shoot it straight in, you're probably gonna miss. And yet, people are hating on this basketball online, but I happen to like it. I don't think there's an issue with it, and once players get used to it, they seem to like it too. The scores went up once we got to the Sweet 16 as players got time to adjust to the ball's differences. But that's kind of the issue. Like, we're asking players to get used to shooting a lighter ball with a more spongy cover, with different grip, and all this stuff during the most important games of their season. If the NCAA wants to improve the product on the court and not have all these teams with these poor shooting performances in the early rounds of the tournament, then it would behoove them to make this basketball the official basketball in all of college basketball. Again, why make players have to adjust to new equipment on the sport's biggest stage? Why let teams have this unique home court advantage? Let me give you a for instance. Let's say Kentucky's playing Kansas in the NCAA tournament next season. Kansas has been using this ball all year. Would John Calipari give Bill Self three points before the game even tips off? When you think about it, players are taking thousands of shots throughout the season in practice, before games, during games, and then come tournament in crunch time as they're relying on muscle memory they're using a lighter basketball. You can't tell me that doesn't have an effect. To not use this ball all season would be to hurt your team's chances of winning in March, even if that's just a one to two basket difference. For Kentucky Sports Radio, I'm Stephen Pete.